um, going uh, certainly better than it was in 2012. And she's done really good work this year. Um, he seems to be over most of his injury related issues, uh, which really reduced his workload last year. He's not going to jump off a full run up at Hunter, but uh, you know, he'd be there and he'd be keen to uh, participate in that meeting. Watt uh, is very keen to run, uh, to show his sprinting prowess this season, so we'll see how that goes. He's been doing some work with the instrumented uh, starting blocks back in Brisbane, and uh, he did the velocity runs today with the laser, uh, and that was uh, his best opening performances with those runs. So. Uh, the plan has always been Sydney. Um, I don't think he's ready to go before Sydney, but he's likely to run uh, a 100 metres before that, one of the early meets or two. Uh, post surgery, uh, which he, uh, he's back running at the moment. Um, uh, running's progressing quite well, trying to build up volume, not much intensity at this point in time, but he's up to probably 12 or 15 100s or 120s at this point in time, so he's doing well. We're hoping for Henry to be able to do a long jump in Perth. Um, if everything tracks perfectly, then he should meet that expectation. It will just have to be uh, as determined by the state of his uh, re rehab and rehabilitation. Well, I'd like my focus for Henry would be to have a good and successful international season. So Henry's had a couple of disappointing seasons in terms of some injuries he's had leading into the last two major championships, including broken bone in his foot before the Olympics. So you know, we're keen for Henry to uh, perform well there, and then if he does that, then I think he can perform well at the championship. Um, Mitchell, uh, we will have the highest expectations for Mitchell. He has those expectations in himself, so we we'll have to see how his uh, season progresses and uh, keep all the injury issues under control.